Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I have shown you how to design this about us page and whenever I click on this, it's open in the browser. So I have shown you how to implement all of these stuff. So if you haven't watched that video, then just go to description there, I put the link for my previous video. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to implement the splash screen in your app and also how to change the icons for that. Okay, so let me just close this application and let me just open this again quickly here because see this, we don't have any splash screen. But if I move back to my complete app and here you can see this, it's open and it's a splash screen over here. And after that, it's open into this page. So let's implement that part. So minimize it and let me just stop this application. First thing what we have to do is we have to add a new activity. So right click on this, click on new and select this activity and select empty activity. And I'm going to name this one splash screen and click on finish. This will create a new application over here after this new activity over here. Okay. So next thing, what I want is first thing, whenever my application open, I need to open this splash screen for that. We have to move to the manifest file and here we have to make some changes. So you can observe that we have for each activity we have one activity opening braces and we have one activity closing tag. Okay. So, but in the main activity, we have one extra stuff that is intent filter. So this intent filter is basically responsible to launch the first activity, which activities uh, you want to open first. This is responsible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut this past and let me just remove the empty space and just change this one to false. After this, what I want to do is I want to open this splash screen. So over here below this, I'm going to paste it and save it and change this one to true. Now let's restart my application and let's see what happens now. Okay. So Griddle build is running. It will take some time. And after that, it will install the app in my application and my application will be up after that. So we need to wait for some time. Here you can see this now Gradle build is finished and finished and launching activity. Here you can see that this is a splash screen and on the splash screen, we don't need this toolbar, right? So I need to hide this for that. What we have to do is we have to move to this splash screen and here, what I want to do is I want to hide that. So get support action bar dot hide. Now again, rerun it and let's check if that action bar is gone or not. So you can see this now action bar is gone. And here you can see this, we are stuck on this page. What I want is after a few seconds, I want to redirect to the main activity. For that, what we have to do is we have to code some of the stuff over here. So let's start with that. So first thing what we have to do is we have to create an object of new handler. And here I'm going to give it a some delay. So post delay inside this one, it accept or enable object. It means that in a new thread, we are going to uh, perform the operation. So new renable and it will open up braces like this and say this uh, after this, let me just close this and we also need to pass the for how many, how much millisecond you after how much millisecond you want to perform. So I'm going to add a 1400 milliseconds. So what this basically does is it accept one renable object and this renewable will run after this much of time. So we need to put the content, whatever we want to do over here. So what we need to do is we need to move from this activity to the main activity and close this activity, right? So I'm going to do the same stuff. So intent intent is equal to new intent. And so this one, we have to pass this current stuff that is splash screen dot this and to which activity we want to move to main activity dot class. And finally, we have to start the activity. So start activity intent. But the thing is, I don't want to move back to this one. Suppose a user want to uh, user click on back, then we don't need to move to the splash screen. We simply need to exit to the application. So right now, what, how this one is behaving, let's check. So I have started my application after 1.4 seconds it's moved to the main activity but when i click on this one you can see that we move back to this splash screen so i don't want to move back over here for that what we have to do is we have to write one more line over here that is finish this will uh, actually remove 
this activity from the stack. It means that just discard this activity, then we we'll move to the main activity. Whenever we click on the back, then we don't need to uh, move to that splash screen. We directly uh, our application will be exit. Okay. So the task over here is done. Next thing what we have to do is we have to design our splash screen, right? And also we need to change the icon over here. So if I move back over here, you can see this this app is our app on which we are working. So the icon is not changed yet. So what I'm going to do is just go to this manifest file and here you have to put the icon image over here. So app, so we haven't added the icon. So you can add any icon of your choice. Let me just copy this one and move back over here. And this is a different image. So I'm going to use this. So click on this, click on OK, app icon 2, click on OK and overwrite. Okay, so app, this is not in the uh, min map, it's in the drawable, right? So drawable slash app icon 2, I'm going to use it and you can see this, now the icon is changed. And again, I'm going to paste this one in these two locations. So this is drawable, right? Like this. And here you can see this, the images has changed. So let me restart my application and let's see if the icon is changed or not. And here you can see this, now the icon is changed and you can also observe that whenever it's 1.4 seconds, it, we move to this one and when I double click back, it's directly actually exit my application. Okay, so now the icon is changed and now the splash screen is working at it as expected. So next thing what we have to do is we have to design my splash screen. For that, we have to move back over here and go to this split. Let me just stretch this little bit and this one to left and change the constraint layout to relative layout. After this, what you have to do is you have to move, make some space over here and I'm going to put one image view and I'm going to give it a width and height to wrap content and wrap content. I'm going to give it an ID. ID will be app icon. After this, I'm going to give the image. So SRC at the rate drawable and I'm going to use the app icon two over here. And you can see this, the icon is on the left top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the gravity okay, Android colon gravity to center, not this one. This is a relative layout, right? So what we can do is we another way we can do center in parent, just change this one to true. And here you can see this is now the app icon is in the center. After this, we have to put one text view, uh, which will actually indicate the app name, right? So we are going to put that. So text view and height and width will be wrap content and wrap content. And I'm going to give it an ID txt app name. After this, uh, I'm going to put this below that image icon, right? So layout below, layout below this one ID and I, this will be app icon. After this, I'm going to set the this one to center in parent to true and text color to black, black and Text is pack your back. And this one, you can see this, uh, it's below the icon, but it's very small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some size of this one to 45 DP. After that, I'm going to put a text style for this one to bold and italic. And here we go. Now this one is looking exactly same. After this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the another text view. And I'm going to uh, give it a name to uh, sorry width to match parent and height to wrap content and after that I'm going to set some text for this one text from and I'm going to set some ID for this one not the ID I don't need to set the ID for this one what we need to do is just move back over here I'm going to put some margin top of 70 dp 
after this what i'm going to do is i'm going to set this layout below uh, that id txt app name and here you can see this now this is uh, on the right place but it's not in the center so we have to put that stuff and also we need to uh, set the text size so text size and i'm going to set this one to 20 dp and we are going to put the text color to black text alignment to center and text style to italic and now this from is in place and let me set the id for this one so id and id will be uh, txt from because we need to set the text below this one that is the um, my brand name right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it over here text view and i'm going to put the width to match parent and height to wrap content and after that i'm going to set the id for this one that is txt uh, b take days and this will be below layout below uh, id txt from and you can see this this is in place after this what we are going to do is we are going to set the text that is btech days text size will be size will be 30 dp and after that i'm going to set the text color that is black so color black and after that i'm going to set this text alignment to center and text style to bold and just close this Finally, we need to put our brand image. So let me just quickly add that. So image view and height and width will be width will be 120 dp and height will be 180 dp. You can put the size as per your choice. And I'm going to set this below. Before we set this one, I'm going to set the SRC that is image. So at the red drawable and this is big days you can use your own logo and this will be below id txt btech days and here you can see this now we have to put it in the center so uh, gravity center in parent to two yeah here we go and this is done let me just start my restart my application and let's see if this is flash screen is implemented or not. So here we go. Now where the splash screen is in place and in 1.4 second, it's moving to the main activity. And here you can see this. And we can also perform all the operations like uh, selecting the stuff and messages being shown. We have changed the icon. We can search the stuff. We can also move to the different sections from here also. And here you can see this, we can create a custom list. So here we have completed this complete project. So if you have any suggestion to enhance this project, please let me know in the comment section and let me know uh, the feedback uh, about throughout the video, what you have learned. And if it's helped in any way, please like, subscribe and share with your friends and suggest us a new next project so that we can develop and deliver it to you. Thanks for watching.